so clear since you're the new anchor of the fix, we wanted to show you some of the hot spots around campus, including the Goog locker room here. This is really cool. What do we do now? Well, we usually bring in a guest host, an athlete, and we recap some of the highlights from the weekend in Notre Dame athletics. Sounds cool. Let's do it. Well, we kind of just need a, uh, a guest host now. Hey, you're Jamar Slaughter. You're a senior safety for the football team. Yes, that's me. Do you want to help me do my first fighting Irish extra? Sure, just show me what I have to do. Roll those intro graphics. Yeah! We get started with the top-seeded Lady Irish basketball team, who were in action yesterday in the NCAA tournament. The Lady Irish got one step closer to the Final Four, with a dominating performance against St. Bonaventure on Sunday. The Irish held the Bonnies to under 19% shooting, en route to a 79-35 victory. The 44-point victory matches the largest in Sweet 16 history. Next, we'll switch from the hardwood to the Irish fencing team, who competed in the NCAA tournament this past weekend. The Irish finished third in the NCAA tournament, marking the fifth time in a row that they finished in the top three nationally. Top performers for the Irish included Enzo Castellani, who scored third place overall in foil and first team All-American honors. On the women's side, Grace Hartman, Madison Zeiss, Ashley Severson, and Leon Ozier also scored second team All-American nods in support of the Irish. Congratulations on a great year. It was a great weekend for the Irish baseball team who opened up Big East play with a three game series at home against Pittsburgh. On Saturday, junior catcher Joe Hudson delivered a two-run single, and senior D.H. Tommy Chase followed with an RBI squeeze bunt in Notre Dame's three-run first inning. Junior right-hander Adam Norton tossed eight and a third innings en route to a 3-2 Irish victory. And on Sunday, the Irish completed the three-game sweep with a 7-5 victory over the Panthers. The Irish baseball team continues conference action next week on the road at South Florida. Lastly, it was a special weekend for several members of the Irish swim team. Junior Bill Bass and sophomore Frank Dyer wrapped up the 2011 season for Notre Dame on the final day of the NCAA Swimming and Diving Championships. Both swimmers took part in Saturday morning's preliminary sessions when Dyer posted a 44-04 in the 100 free to place 39th overall, and Bass breezed through the 200 fly in 146.64 for a 30th place showing. Bass and Dyer were the first swimmers to ever reach the NCAA championships for Notre Dame. Stay tuned to UND.com all this week for more videos, highlights, and interviews with the women's basketball team as they continue their quest for the Final Four on Tuesday against Maryland. Also, be sure to check out all spring football action available exclusively on UND.com. Remember to like us on Facebook at Notre Dame Athletics and follow us on Twitter at UND underscore com. For Fighting Irish Extra and UND.com, I'm Claire Cooney. And I'm Jamora Slaughter. Go, Go Irish! Irish!